So today is my first day of intermittent fasting. Like I'm focused, I just need to focus on myself. Yeah. Before we get into it, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I'm trying to hit 5K and I need your help. Also, follow me on Instagram. There I post healthy intentional living tips and more about my businesses. Now, back to the video. I chose 12 to 8, so um, good thing is today is a day off. So like getting to 12 o'clock was so fast. Uh, like I, I got up at like 8.30, I made a tea, I did a bunch of stuff. Um, I did like cleaning and like did my skincare, did you know my face, whatever, like I did stuff. And then like it's literally like 11.56. Yeah, like I can eat in two minutes. I'm super excited, but I gotta fix something to eat first. So I literally just came back from vacation yesterday. So I don't have a lot of food, but I do have a lot of food so what I really need to do is go through what I have and um, kind of like make an inventory of what I have so I know what I need to get and I have the perfect thing to do this I have an inventory sheet I will leave the link down below in my description box uh, it's free download you can get it off my website but um, and it's just a sheet and actually let me print it out so I can kind of show it to you while I talk about it. so uh, here is my sheet food inventory and it has pantry fridge freezer it has a little key section um, I'll show you how I use this but it's basically to like mark thing as mark things as produce or uh, vegetables or sauce or something like that um, and then meal ideas so I'm going to actually go downstairs and as I, while I face my breakfast I'm going to use this inventory sheet um, and basically it's like it's meant so you can Take an inventory of your food and then be able to make a grocery list based off of you want you know the things that you want to meet, the meals that you want to make. A lot of times when people make meal uh, make meal ideas or decide what they're going to cook for the week, they go just based off of okay, this is what I want to cook and now I need to buy these things. Really, you should do it in reverse. You really, you should have an inventory of the items that you have and make your meal ideas based off of the things that you have. That allows you to save money because you don't have to buy so many things, and to um, allows you to not buy things that are unnecessary and buy extra of things that you already have. So it's just super it's like streamlining the whole process right you're intentionally shopping basically okay so um that's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna go do this while i fix my breakfast so i can have everything together so then later on when i go shopping um and meal prep i am completely prepared once again i will have the link down below in my description box of how you can get one of these yourself So the main part of my diet is basically no sugar, um, no added sugar, not no sugar, so no added sugar and I'm going to cut out meat for the majority of my diet. You know, I'm going to eat seafood and maybe meat once a month, twice a month type of thing. I just haven't decided if I'm going to cut it out completely because I like things like chicken wings and I'm not really trying to be a whole pescatarian. but. We'll see how it goes. Either way, this is what I made for breakfast. So I have some boiled eggs under there, and these are veggie sausages from well, the Beyond Meat brand. I love those. These are the spicy ones. Super good. So I have some hot sauce here. I love hot sauce with my eggs, but if it's spicy enough with the veggie sausage, then I'm good. And then I have some sweet potato fries, and this is a chipotle mayo like sauce and I did not know it was completely no sugar added like sugar free um zero carbs I think it's like a hundred calories like per uh, tablespoon so I'm gonna really be using like utilizing this sauce but no sugar so yeah this is my breakfast for the day so, I finished my food inventory um there's actually a, not a lot on here like I said, I just went came back from vacation. Now that this is finished, I'm going to, based off of the meal ideas that I want to make, I'm going to make my grocery list. So like I said before, you want to use what you already have to kind of make your meal ideas. So that way you are using things that you have at home already and not buying 
a lot of items you're just buying a few things here and there to kind of go with what you already have at home and to make your meals the main issue I have is I'm transitioning to eating pescatarian mainly vegetarian um, and not eating meat so I do have some meat items that I'm not going to eat I'm gonna feed them to my children but I'm not gonna eat them myself so uh, that kind of like hinders some of my meal situations but um, that's okay with the first beer and still use as much as I can like I said I still have to make meals for them so basically I'm making um, meal prepping for myself and then during the week I'll just fix something for them because they they pretty much eat the same thing every week or the same meals every week um, and they're perfectly fine with that at this the age that they're at so I just kind of keep it super simple for them um, and that helps it stay simple for me so now I'm going to write an actual grocery list see I finished shopping I put everything away and I also did some meal prepping um, once again my food inventory list tremendously helps me with this process uh, I will have it linked down below how you can find it on my website but um, it is super beneficial for anybody's um, in anybody's kitchen you can use this this inventory however you however you use it it's gonna be nothing but helpful for you to keep yourself organized so when you go to the grocery store you don't get too many extra things to um, you don't get things that you already have, get things that you, you literally come home when you have a bottle of ketchup already there that you didn't even open, but you ended up getting it anyway because you didn't have your inventory list done. You know, so it's uh, super helpful. So I have my meal prepping all done. Um, I am actually really tired. I did really good today. It's actually, it's 9.15 right now, um, but I finished eating, so I probably, I didn't start eating until like 12.15, right? So I ended eating around 8.15 um, and I had a sugar-free icy from Rita's actually, which wasn't too bad at all. Uh, I really did enjoy it and I think I just wanted something, you know, kind of normal-ish. Um, but it's about 9 o'clock. I'm actually going to go ahead and get ready for bed. I want to be in the bed by 10 uh, because getting a better night's sleep is something that is super important for me right now I'm trying to like not be tired every day and neglecting my sleep is not helping so I'm trying to get in bed within the next 45 minutes first day so far so good I feel good um you know I don't feel like super hungry I don't feel like I'm neglecting myself I made a couple of snack type things today that I'm super excited about I made um, tortilla chips from card the carb balance tortilla chips um, I made them like myself basically so that way there's like zero sugar and it's literally just salt and olive oil on them so that's like the main thing that's what I'm doing is no added sugar and that's what I'm really focusing on um, and then I also made some apple chips so like they're meant to be just kind of like a sweet snacky type thing and I made those with stevia actually stevia in the raw snacking is like my biggest downfall when I'm trying to get my eating habits together so being able to have a snack there that's like okay I know this is what I'm gonna snack on this is gonna help me when I need something um, that is super uh, beneficial for me. If you want to continue to watch me along this journey make sure you subscribe to my channel and check out this playlist here on the screen uh, about my weight loss and my journey and everything that I've been doing and trying to reincorporate again uh, just to get back with the ball rolling. But I hope you guys enjoyed this one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel so you can see more of me and thanks for watching guys. I'll see you in my next one. Bye!